So we've been trying to look at a couple interesting things that we could do, and one of those things is instead of being building team win recovery project, you can actually build something else like a spin-off such as Orange Fox. Now there's several spin-offs. There's Orange Fox. There's uh, um, you know Red Wolf and uh, a couple other ones as well. But I want to take a look at uh, Orange Fox because that was actually a request by you guys when. Uh, you were uh, commenting on some of my videos, you wanted to know how to build Orange Fox. So let's take a look at how we do that. Um, first off, you can just jump on the web, uh, do a little search for it. Notice that Orange Fox is on GitLab instead of GitHub. And so just something to be aware of if you're just trying to find their uh, stuff on GitHub, you're not going to find it because it's on GitLab. But uh, so we get to Orange Fox on uh, GitLab and we find their manifest. And when we click on that, we see that it's got uh, Fox 8.1, the manifest, the latest version. And uh, there's, uh, you know, the readme instructions right here. And here's what's really great, uh, is that it already has a script to download all the packages you need to do the building. Now, if you don't use the script, because I didn't use the script, I actually... Uh, already have my system set up but if you want you can always go to AOSP downloading the source uh, click on that it will bring up uh, the Android open source project and you can say establishing a build environment and you can go through these instructions now we have gone through these instructions in a, probably a dozen videos so far so I don't want to I don't want to beat the dead horse uh, we'll just look very briefly at the fact that you'll need to install your open JDK uh, 8 because this is going to be uh, building for Oreo uh, and then also you need to install your required packages for building um, once you've done that you'll need to go to downloading the source and install repo uh, repo tool to work with the repositories now like I said I have several videos on that already uh, please check those out if you need some more help with that but you're also welcome to just run the script right here uh, you just take all of this and put it into your uh, your terminal window and it's going to download this script and then run it and that script is going to go through and uh, get all of these things set up that you need uh, which is pretty handy uh, once you've done that, then of course you need to uh, sync and build. Uh, well, this will actually sync and build for you. It'll go ahead and go all the way through building Mido for you. But if you're doing it manually, where you've downloaded everything uh, like I did, then you're going to uh, run this repo in it. If you want to save some space, you can use this option with the depth of 1, which is what I did just drag that put that into your terminal like we've done probably hundreds of times before uh, on our other videos there and then you repo sync to download all of that source here's where things get interesting so if we want to build orange fox right we s we've gone into our directory here and we see we have all these files and what we have to do is we've set up our build environment and then it wants you to export this allow missing dependencies equals true now the reason you have to do this is there's going to be a lot of things that uh, you don't have for your device that your device tree is probably going to be looking for that just aren't available because you don't need them for building the recovery portion and so by saying allow missing dependencies true you just ignore the fact that there's a bunch of things missing uh, from your build and that's okay and then you say lunch omni uh, in this case mido and eng that gets it all set up and ready notice that it's uh, platform version 8.1 mido eng release and it's all set up for building Mido. If you need some help with these commands of what this means, like I said, a lot of my other videos, especially about building custom ROMs, uh, I talk about this in depth and, and really go over each one of these things. Here I just want to touch on, you've already built Team Win Recovery Project, let's look at how we can build some other alternative recoveries such as Orange Fox and maybe Red Wolf. So now that we've got it set up, we're going to MKA Recovery image 
Oops, no space. Image. And once you do that, the build is off. So we'll uh, come back to it once the build is done and see um, see what we get. Um, you can also uh, check out Orange Fox. Uh, there's not a lot of um, information out there for it, but if you jump on to XDA and look at the Orange Fox that they built specifically for the uh, Mido, um, I don't know if they have any screenshots in here. Yeah, I don't... Oh, there we go. So you can kind of get an idea while that's building of what exactly it is that we're we're doing. They've, they've kind of slicked up the uh, interface a bit. Uh, they've added a couple of features. Uh, definitely allow you to change colors, that sort of thing. If you're really into modding, this is kind of nice in that that respect. But particularly the features that are interested uh, using up-to-date Oreo kernels, um, Team Win Recovery Project, uh, as of the last one that I built, uh, was still using Nugget uh, and lower kernels, which is honestly is fine for what you're doing, but uh, it just allows you to use the latest kernel versions. Um, you know, it does have compatibility with all Team Win Recovery Project. Uh, it includes the latest Team Win Recovery Project commits, even though, like, the Recovery Project commits may not have actually been rolled out to production yet. They go ahead and include them in their build. Uh, support for installing initd, installing magic and super su, uh, for non-trouble ROMs only. Um, it actually allows you to uh, turn on the flashlight. Uh, I don't know why you would want to do that in recovery mode, but you know, hey, that's cool uh, to have some options. Uh, the big one though is password protection. It allows you to password protect your um, recovery, so that way people can't go to recovery mode and mess with your phone. And so that's really good. And then support for MUI, uh, particularly for over-the-air uh, updates. Sometimes there's some problems with that with Team Win Recovery Project, and this kind of allows you to get around that as well. Um, and then, you know, their theme engine, which we looked at with the color schemes and that sort of thing. Um, so pretty, uh, pretty neat project uh, by Mr. Yaka there. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and hit his thanks button and uh, say thanks for making this stuff uh, because it's really cool to have developers out there making things uh, that are useful so um, always be sure to thank your developer if they're uh, putting out some something that's uh, useful to you so let's see how our build is going alright so build is still in progress we'll uh, we'll catch it when it's done and uh, take a look at uh, at the files when it comes out